Hey guys, Curtis Alexander. Let's talk about celery seed and using it to help with gout. So first and foremost, people will ask, well, celery seed, it is legitimately just the seed of a celery plant. Now, what's going on in the body? What do we think may be helping with the gout? There's, there's a couple of compounds and you're going to see other videos about, they know specifically what's in the seed, what's in the plant. And I, I want to set some of that straight. So uh, luteolin is a xanthine oxidase, or it can decrease xanthine oxidase. So when you have gout, one of the things we're worried about is your uric acid levels. Well, xanthine oxidase is an enzyme that's involved in producing that uric acid. And so we do know that luteolin can decrease that enzyme, which is very similar to what allopurinol, some of those gout medications do. Interestingly enough, we'll talk about a study um, but I'll just kind of mention it now. Luteolin, and this was a very short study, it was done in rodents, it wasn't done in humans, but it compared very favorably to allopurinol as far as keeping those uric acid levels down. Um, so very promising. Then there's 3NB. S celery seed is full of a whole bunch of compounds that could potentially be helpful for gout. 3MB is another one that's anti-inflammatory, but there are many others. So those are what we think kind of helps primarily with gout. Now, what about studies? Interestingly enough, what we mainly have, like I mentioned before, is rodent studies. We do have one human study. Unfortunately, um, it's a little mixed results. And by that, it, I mean, it did help. It, it helped decrease some of the inflammation, some of the pain with gout. But the product that they used wasn't just celery seed. It had a few other ingredients, two other ingredients, I believe, in it. So we don't really know. Was it the celery seed doing the work? Was it the other ingredients? Was it the combination of all those? So that's kind of up in the air. Um, and we do know in rodent studies, a lot of the pro-inflammatory markers that we can see in gout, like the cytokines, the interleukins, the tumor necrosis factor, a lot of those things are suppressed by salary seed. Um, so it's very promising, but again, those are rodent studies. And uh, you know, a lot of rodent studies are done and those can be promising, but we can't say for sure that it, it jumps over to humans. So that's why I always kind of try to rely on the feedback that I've gotten from people. I've had people tell me personally that they've used salary seed for gout, that it, that it was helpful, it wasn't some sort of cure-all. Uh, you can look online and see a lot of verified reviews. I don't know how much weight to put in those, but overall it tends to be positive. It's not an expensive supplement. Um, so I do think it shows a lot of promise. As far as dosing, if you were to try it, I would lean towards getting a celery seed extract that has, you'll see some that focus only on the 3NB content. I wouldn't really lean towards those. I would lean towards uh, celery seed supplements that have numerous, you know, of those extracts in it, including the luteolin and the 3NB and some of the other things. I'd probably start out at 600 milligrams a day, just see how you do and with the goal of moving it quickly to 600 milligrams twice a day after, you know, two or three days, just because you want to see how you're going to react to it. So Eventually, 600 milligrams twice a day after two or three days is what I would shoot for. In the studies, we think you're going to have to probably use it for a good six to eight weeks. So I'd shoot for 45 days of use and see how you do. Um, and then side effects, it's pretty well tolerated. You're going to read about concerns about pregnancy and, and those sorts of things. Those are blanket recommendations. We are always careful with uh, in pregnancy. We always want to be concerned start low with the low dose, see how you do, because people can have anaphylactic reactions to really any product. So you, you want to start slow, see how you do. But as far as true precautions, we don't really know of any. It tends to be very well tolerated. The other thing I would mention, click the link in the description below for the free checklist. If you're interested in something like celery seed for gout, I have 11 other natural things that I personally use that may be able to help with your gout. It's a free checklist. Just go grab that. Also, let me know in the comments, have you used celery seed? How did it help? Did you use it for gout? Did you use it for something else? Did you experience side effects? 
any feedback you can give me on the salary seat is helpful. It's really helpful for other people that watch the video too. So uh, basically, I think salary seed would be worth the shot if you have gout. Uh, and I'll put a link to a product I recommend down below. So uh, until the next one, guys, thank you.